what's up y'all welcome back today we're gonna do a little bit more hill country blues one of our favorite players rl burnside today we're gonna talk about the song skinny woman which is a great song in open g so I've broken this song down into four basic phrases. First, let's watch RL play this. I'll show you the parts, and then I'll teach you each of the parts one at a time. So let's jump right in. Okay, so this is our intro phrase. This is the answer phrase. Well, I don't want. And this is our horse gallop. Well, I don't want skin that woman. Meat don't shake. Me don't shake. There's the answer me, phrase again. Me. And here's our two call phrases. Okay. Back to that answer phrase. And then he's gonna get back into that horse gallop thing right after that. We'll watch that horse gallop well, and we'll she talk about the parts. Cook no bread work. Well she won't. Wash no clothes. All she do is walk a band down, walk a band down, walk. Okay, back to the answer phrase. Walk. Right, cool. So now he's played all the parts a couple of times here. So now that you've seen the parts, let's go over them one at a time real quick. Let's start with the call and answer phrases first. So the first one is a really common phrase. I'll just play the top part of it. And that sounds like a lot of other songs that we've heard from RL, but he's doing this kind of in an unusual way. So the timing is kind of weird because he starts kind of in the middle of the phrase. Okay, but let's start here. Okay, if you look at this measure, we start by plucking basically these two strings by itself, or you can do it with kind of just a strum like that and include this note in the middle. Now, a lot of this open tuning stuff really gives you the opportunity to play more open strings and not worry about it being a wrong note because it's, you know, we're playing an open G and this is kind of a riff in G or G blues. So check it out. So one more time, start like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one. And one thing he does, is instead of keeping this, you know, bass going on the downbeats, he's actually doing those kind of on the, almost on the upbeats. Now when it gets to this part, he actually holds that and he doesn't do a bass note on that time. Let's go back and reference his playing and then we'll continue with the lesson. Walk. So this is the answer phrase. That's the call phrase one. Okay, let's take a look at that call phrase two. So it starts the same as call phrase one. But the melody is a little bit different. Instead of going... We're going... Okay. And he just basically, he, he's kind of alternating back and forth between those two uh, call phrases. It'll sound like this. Two, three, four, one. Okay, and then goes into the answer phrase. So let's check out that answer phrase now. A lot of times the answer phrase, he'll play that three times like he just did. Sometimes I notice he'll play it four times, um, but I think most of the time he's just going to do it that three times. Check out that answer phrase. Okay, there's a couple of cool things about this. Uh, first, you know, he's starting with this open fifth string, which is the note G now. 
and going up to this octave G, which is now the fifth fret of the uh, fourth string. So he, those are the first two beats. One, two. Now notice he does that with a slide. One, okay. One, two, three, and then we do this and four and kind of like clicks. That's why we have the X and then the uh, zero in parentheses. I put that zero in parentheses so to know that you should use your thumb on that because that's how he does it. So it goes, oh, slide, click, 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 five, three, bum, bum. Slide, click, 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 bum, five, three. Okay, now on that five, notice there's a little bend symbol on there. And it's just a really partial bend. He's just kind of doing that kind of to give it some flavor. Uh, so after he goes, okay, let's let's hear him do that. Let's back it up. Okay, here comes the answer for us. the bend well, I don't okay. want. did you notice the bend that he's doing there so he's just a little just a tiny little bend the, finally the last part is this thing that I'm calling the horse gallop and that's because if you listen to it it kind of almost sounds like a horse galloping it's you know it's got that kind of effect to it he does a really unusual technique here I'm going to show you exactly what he's doing but I'm going to show you another workaround which I think is really effective and really helps for other styles of hill country blues as well so let's check out that horse gallop part and then I'll teach you how to play skin they want <laughs> that's it right there let me back well, it up. I well, I don't want to skin that woman. Well, I don't want to skin that woman. Me don't jig. Me don't jig. Okay. So that is the verse. Me. That's the verse part, and this is what he's uh, basically doing. Now, if you look at the tab, it's only kind of like two different notes. He has this note. And then he plays the third fret, okay? So everything else he's doing is this percussive stuff, okay? Um, so this is what he's doing exactly. So he's going one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, okay? So if you see his hand, he's, he's kind of doing three hits. Two of them sound really loud. That's what he's getting with his right hand, okay? But one of them is kind of with this left hand, very soft. That's the way he's doing. That's a really unusual technique. And I'm gonna show you the way that I like to approach it because I think this is really helpful for other styles of Hill Country Blues. And it still kind of gets you the same sound. So what I'm doing is this. Um, Okay. Now I'm actually getting a little bit of that chord in there sometimes. Uh, it just gives a little bit of harmony in there and that's okay. It, it is a little bit different. I'm plucking this note obviously with my thumb, but then I'm doing this. Uh, pluck, slap, pluck. Thumb, pluck, slap, pluck. Okay, and that gets the E and a to E and a. One, two, three, Okay, now I know this is, it's a little bit of a different groove, but it kind of, it works really well in that spot. And then one other thing I really like to do, which, it, you know, when he's hitting it, let me show you kind of what he's doing. He's hitting with his fingers kind of like this, and it's kind of occasionally kind of getting a little bit of a harmonic sound. And I'm, I'm going to back it up and kind of see if you can hear that. Well, I don't want him, skin that woman, meet those eggs. Me don't shake it. Can you hear that? So it, it's really hard to hear, but you can kind of hear him. He's almost, he's kind of like hitting some string noise when he's doing those uh, hits. So one thing that I like to do is since I'm doing this different technique, so I like to also hit these harmonics on the fifth fret and then 12th fret, just kind of, you know, vary it up. Uh, and it sounds something like this, two, three, four.
<laughs> and I know that's a lot different, but it's a fun way to play. It kind of gives you that same 16th note rhythm where it's kind of like a... Okay, so those are all the parts. Basically, that's the whole song. So you've got the call phrase one, call phrase two, answer phrase, and then the horse gallop part. Okay, and so now you're probably wondering well, what order does he do it in? We well, usually does it like this. He'll do uh, call phrase one, call phrase two, to the answer phrase, to the horse gallop part, and then back to the answer phrase, and then kind of repeat all that stuff again. And you can vary it a lot. You don't have to you play it exactly the same way he does because, you know, when people play this stuff live, they tend to kind of change things up a little bit. You know, they'll they'll uh, make the verse a little bit longer or they'll like play an extra verse, things like that, you know. So just have fun with it when you're playing and then feel free to vary the parts. But what I'm going to do right now is just do a slow play with a metronome of those four parts in a row. So I'll do call phrase one, call phrase two, answer phrase, horse gallop part to the uh, answer phrase, and then that'll give you uh, a nice playthrough to try to play along with, okay? Here we go. So one, two, three, four, one. All right, so there's that slow playthrough. Try to play along with that slow playthrough and then listen to a bunch of versions that RL plays live and his studio versions and then try to play along with his. Remember, sometimes he changes the order or the amount of times he does each call phrase and sometimes he'll change like the length of the verse and other things like that. And all those things make it special and make it different each time you play it. So make sure that you guys try to do that too. Okay, so this one has been really fun to teach you and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.